For men in Alabama, time to schedule your vasectomy? That's if a bill introduced in the state legislature become law, becomes law. WVTM 13's Mary O'Connell heard from the lawmaker behind this bill and others who say it goes too far. Laid out in a simple three page document is legislation that could mandate a medical procedure for men. State Representative Rolanda Hollis's bill would require a man to get a vasectomy within one month of his 50th birthday or the birth of his third child, whichever comes first and at his own expense. Hollis notes while many see the bill as an overstep, she says year after year, legislation is introduced that tries to dictate a woman's body and her reproductive rights. 25 eyes, six nays, one abstention, House Bill 314 passes. Last session, the state legislature passed one of the strictest abortion bills in the country, a near total outlaw of abortions. Hollis said the vasectomy bill is meant to neutralize last year's ban. Most of when I talk to just kind of laughs and shrugs at all. State Senator Cam Ward said the bill won't likely get a vote in committee. When asked about regulations on men's reproductive rights, he told us. I don't have a, a, a live human being inside my body, so to, in the issue of abortion, you're dealing with a third party, which is the baby or fetus. So I, I, I get her political statement. I just think it's kind of a goofy, far out there, left field type proposal. In a statement, Hollis said in part, just as she'd turn to a doctor over a legislator when deciding to have surgery, she should consult a doctor when it comes to making the incredibly difficult decision decisions related to my personal reproductive rights. In Birmingham, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13.